What's up guys, it's me, Faith and Luminous, and boy, am I actually glad for once not to have a sponsor for this video. This is something that I never thought I would say, but this isn't very advertiser friendly. But hey, you read the title, you've already got a gist of what I'm about to go into. And yeah, it's just as bad as it sounds. So, BabsCon, really popular con, pretty huge for all you bronies out there. They had all the VAs flown out there from Tabitha to Tara to the Mike Vogo and all the other people that we care about. And unfortunately, when you get a bunch of internet personalities and internet trolls together in one place shenanigans often ensue but unfortunately it went a little bit further than it normally does and ended up somewhere along the lines of sexual assault accusations but how do we get from an innocent con to sexual assaults well that's a funny funny story but before we get into that i want to go ahead and tell you guys this up front this story i am not completely removed from in fact i am knowledgeable on both sides of both people well all people involved it's more than two and i'm even a regular contact with the other side that is being accused of all these shenanigan type crimes now i will try to be as neutral as possible but i wanted to be upfront with that so this whole thing revolves around the theft of toon critic's hat his famous little red top hat i don't know why i say famous because no one actually really watches him but he has red top hat staple of his character and people hatched the plot to steal it but why did they steal it well, apparently it was in retaliation to him stealing minty roots plushie at an earlier convention and then rubbing his genitalia across it as all well-adjusted adults are known to do you know you're an adult when you when you, when you have to do stuff like that and of course he doesn't apologize but he makes some sort of half arsed like rant video about minty root because of it <laughs> i'm not sure why he thought this would fly over well but uh trust and believe people were too happy and because of that i guess they decided to start a meme about taking teen critics hat and unfortunately this time a non-delivered because of this there are all kinds of accusations about what's going on you know what catapulted this but the result is that a bunch of individuals are now banned permanently from the con and there's even and talks from said con chairs about blackballing them from further cons and how they're talking to other people about doing said actions and getting the ball rolling on that front but they're not actually being banned for the toon critic hat theft which fair enough if they were i suppose it seems like harmless shenanigans it was returned but i understand if you were to ban someone for that they still stole doesn't matter if that person's a douchebag or what two wrongs don't necessarily make a right but three wrongs well that's a different story i'm gonna go ahead and cut down this video a lot by just summarizing every charge here they got three people's badges revoked initially in the middle of the night without any reason as to why they were being revoked and just say this they were revoked first off for the tune critic hat thing then it became accused racism they said racism was a group of people all chanting send the zebras home this was a giant group of people, but only three people were being penalized for said action. Doesn't make sense. Next, it was because they apparently pressured one of the con mascots into harassing a guest, which just doesn't make any sense. Uh, this said mascot, Queen Quake, is supposed to be some sort of bad person. I guess she's supposed to be the the bad person that crashes panels or whatever. So it seems like one to be her job to do that, but two you don't go to mcdonald's and if a customer says hey you should spit in that guy's food and the employee does it mcdonald's doesn't turn around and blame the customer for that all right that's not how the world works if you are an adult you are completely responsible for your own actions no one held a gun to your head to do said actions and you did it of your own free will you are an adult take responsibility for your own actions can you say that you had a lapse in judgment? Sure, nobody's perfect. People make mistakes, but adults don't blame other people for their mistakes. Well, you don't do that if you want to act like an adult. Unfortunately, most adults still are children and they still blame other people. Then after that, it moves on to this claim of sexual harassment, which is the most damning thing you can do because even if you were to prove that someone said such things falsely, a lot of the times it doesn't matter the social damage is done this is something that could get people fired this could completely ruin someone's 
livelihood and it's completely false i can say that it's completely false because the girl that they originally said came to them and said that she had to show her breasts in order to get the hat back tune critics hat has stated such publicly she was also originally a member of the group that took said hat here's the thing though this person who you know what i'm just gonna call her marinara because that's how she's named in the article marinara has publicly admitted that she never actually did these actions. However, the only reason why this rumor started was because Marinara was the one who started it. She went up to another con goer who had clout with the con and said, hey, these guys are the ones who made me show my breasts to get back Toon Critic's hat. She, she said it. I don't know why she said it, but she did. All right, so I do have an update from the story writer and it goes as follows, pretty much the person who accused the three Anons of sexual assault uh, apparently did show their boobs to someone but it was her boyfriend and she was the one who made the offer nor was she upset about said offer so this has nothing to do with the people that she's claiming it does and it was between two people who are dating I'm not and it was her offer it seems weird to try to penalize unrelated parties for that apparently she is convinced by team critic as his as his screenshot shows she says that she was forced by him to go to con security she wouldn't sign her name on any official documents but someone who was hearing the story and felt the story was true decided to file racism charges against the group because they just wanted them out for any reason. There's a lot of things that we can speculate, but she has publicly come out and said that those accusations that she made were 100% false. The problem is the damage is already done. This kind of drama and this kind of shenanigans are going to turn off a lot of the show staff that we see coming to this con. And the fact that people are exposing that the con chairs themselves are trying to blackball these people with such flimsy evidence and threaten them with legal action over such flimsy evidence and then revoke the badges of a super sponsor without telling them why they are doing so now in fairness the con apparently has refunded at least part of said sponsors funds but it still was done these are people who have to pay in advance for this trip they, they have to take off time from work so i've known people who have willingly quit jobs in order to make these cons such quick decisive actions with such little proof is just showing the immaturity of the fandom and this whole con mentality of we are so important and we should use his power to blackball people to get our way it's just a horrible look for the fandom this is what's going to actually kill these people from being able to come to our fandom meetups and our cons and our whatevers Tara's agent is not going to let her come to an event where this is commonplace where this kind of drama is commonplace. Hasbro is not going to let the VAs associate themselves in something that's so drama filled. You have to remember, bronies probably do not even make for a tenth of the money that Hasbro makes. They have no reason to really cater to us. We don't buy source material as much as their target demographic. If it's going to hurt the actual target demographic, you better believe that they will pull the plug on VAs going to cons because trust me, there was a period where they couldn't. Look, this whole thing sparks from Toon Critic's hat being stolen, which sparks from Mint from him stealing Minty Root's hat. The lesson here is one, don't steal, keep your hands to yourself, two, keep your drama online, three, and investigate claims of all types. And four, if you're gonna take someone's badge, at least give them the courtesy to tell them why you're doing so. And five, if you're a con chair, cause Lord knows I've had my drama with them, stop being a douchebag. Stop being a self-righteous asshole. Don't go around saying that you're going to start blackballing people from other conventions because of unsubstantiated and redacted claims of all types don't blame your attendees for the actions of your employees take responsibility 
you're an adult you're a company act like one and that goes for everyone involved in this situation this could have all been just a non-issue if people just act like adults and that's where I'll end it. I'll link down below to the article. The article does use some pretty intense language at times, and it is very biased against Tune Critic. So I will give you that warning, but it does stick to the facts and between those little jabs. It is 100% backed in fact, and there are even more updates that will be coming to that article. The whole thing of Marinara being the one to do the claims has not been inserted into the article at this point. That is insider knowledge, which may or may not even make it into this video. I just have to verify that it's completely okay for me to say this, not trying to piss off anyone, not trying to get my friends in trouble. As always guys, it's been Faith or Maliminous. I love your faces, so I hope you at least like my video and actually be sure to like this video and share it out. This is drama that needs to be addressed. This is just stupidity that needs to be addressed in general. I'll see you guys in the next one. Hopefully we can put this drama behind us. Hopefully the Phantom can grow up. Hopefully we don't have to talk about this ever again. I'll see you guys in the next one. Woo! Hey.